Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be talking about Gina Carano and how cancel culture finally got her fired from Lucasfilm. Now, I actually don't think this is the worst thing that could ever happen to her. Like, as far as I'm concerned, like, I, I think Disney Star Wars and its TV universe that it's trying to make has peaked. Mandalorian Season 2 was not good. Like, it, they deep-faked um, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker at the end for two minutes or whatever. And that shiny object overshadowed the fact that the rest of the season leading up to that was garbage. Just hot garbage. The first episode was that Spongebob episode with the Alaskan bullworm. The second episode was Ron and Harry Potter... Uh, going into the Forbidden Forest at night and meeting Hagrid Spider. Like, these were such derivative episodes. And then you got the one episode that was uh, Django Unchained. Like, it was unoriginal, it was derivative, and Disney doesn't really understand how to do Star Wars. And that, you know, that's a shame considering they own Star Wars and they can't really master Star Wars all that well. And the thing is, Gina Carano has kind of built herself up as this believable female action hero that can look the part in a scene. And Hollywood does not have that many of those. If you think about it, who better can fill that role? And if you run up the names of a few actresses, you got Gwendolyn Christie... And Star Wars already casted Gwendolyn Christie. She was in a very stupid role in the sequel trilogy. She was that officer that had beef with Finn in a rivalry no one cared about. You know, she died in The uh, for the Force Awakens and then somehow is resurrected for uh, the, the Last Jedi. So Gwendolyn Christie has already been in Star Wars. She can do the female action hero... You know, and looked the part convincingly, but Star Wars already used her. So who else can Star Wars really turn to? I mean, I'm sure they'll find someone, but I doubt it'll be as believable. And I think Star Wars and their TV universe is going downhill really fast. If you think, you know, I think, you know, half of their latest season was spent building up spinoff series. And, you know, TV has a history with spinoffs not being that good. So when you, you're talking about 10 shows in 10 years, odds are most of them are going to suck. And Disney Plus seems to already have trouble trying to make lightning strike in the same spot twice. And, you know, they season one of Mandalorian was a good novelty. Season two was kind of, you know, it was mediocre at best. It felt like a below average open world video game where every mission is a time or every episode is a time consuming side quest. So as far as Gina Carano goes, I, you know, I hope that her career um, can take off from here. Yeah. I hope this is certainly not the end of her career. I hope she does not have to resort to going into bad Christian movies that I will have to review later in life. So in case I wasn't clear, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, it's good that Gina Carano is off of The Mandalorian before it becomes The Walking Dead. And it just has way more bad seasons than good seasons, if you know what I mean. So that that's just generally how I feel about uh, the situation. So, you know, like I said, and like I had the Bible verse right here, and we know that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. And if you think about it, she had a target on her back. And Disney, it's not like they have a moral high ground. They fired someone for comparing our culture to the culture that cultivated the Holocaust, Nazi Germany. She compared our culture to Nazi Germany. And that is a very accurate comparison, the comparison that she made. While... Disney is fueling Chinese concentration camps. If you look into the filming of the Mulan remake, which was a garbage film, just absolute garbage. That movie's not even fun to hate watch, and I love hate watching films. But 
you know, that movie was filmed in areas where China was operating concentration camps. And if you think about it, the atrocities of the communist Chinese or the Chinese Communist Party dwarf Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was a mere flash in the pan. He put up rookie numbers compared to Mao Zedong. So that's who Disney will is comfortable doing business with. Disney would much rather do business with um, communist China than Gina Carano. And I don't think that's a bad thing to be if you're Gina Carano. At least you know why they fired you. You know, take it as a badge of honor and move on. That's all I got to say about that. If you like what I said, do like the video. Also, subscribe for more content like this. Check out evangelicaldarkweb.org and subscribe to that website as well. My name is Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web.